friends i welcome you to this presentation on modsim the modeling and simulation software for mineral processing systems this modsim software it is is a very user friendly software for simulating the mineral processing systems we see here start a new job open an existing job close this job and edit tab is there to edit the flow sheet to edit system data and to edit unit model parameters and you can view the flow sheet the simulation results data output file report file stream properties and size distribution graphs also the liberation distribution graphs so this tab is useful to run simulation and view other various data files also help help tab is available here and uh, this software can be easily downloaded from mineraltech.com website so here there is a link for downloading the software this is the link the demo version of uh, modsim 3.6.22 is available here the academic and professional versions are also available and now this web uh, this modsim software we can start a new job the cursor appears on the screen we can draw flow sheet here you can go there select various units of the mineral processing systems this is the classifiers in classifiers we have single deck screen double deck screen elytriator hydrocyclone sieve bent single deck screen spiral classifier water injection cycle we have in conveyor a conveyor you will have crushers three types of crushers are available jaw crusher gyratory crusher cone crusher we have dewatering units we have feed bins we have flotation cells blank of flotation cells and a flotation column we have various kinds of gravity separators including nelson concentrator puddle pan shaking table etc we have magnetic separators also we have mills autogenous autogenous mill with trommel rod mill ball mill fixed roll mill high pressure roll mill etc we have mixing units stream splitting units and pump so most of the mineral processing systems are made available in this software now we will place one unit select a crusher for example we'll take jaw crusher yes we have taken jaw crusher it is here and now we have to add the streams to this so what we do is we can add a, we can uh, rubber band cursor yes this is one feed this is another feed there are two streams placed on this unit one, number 1 one is the feed stream and number 2 is the product stream and now what we do is we will add the stream flyouts yes over and now we need to accept the flow sheet we will write some name so jaw pressure jaw 1 we will write okay it is saved as jaw 1 we have the flow sheet here now we can accept the flow sheet edit the system data number of minerals we take hematite as the mineral and its specific gravity we have the flow sheet here now we can accept the flow sheet edit the system data number of minerals we take hematite as the mineral 
and its specific gravity let us assume it as 5.1 yes accept it now the feed rate feed rate to be provided for the feed stream let it be 100 kg per second let us have the default values of the particle characteristics this is the product stream let us give the annotation product stream let this be the feed stream yes let it be accepted now the system data has been provided now we need to provide the unit model parameters the we have only one unit jaw crusher there are four models available we have jaw 1 we have jaw 2 we have crsh we have emjc so we can take jaw 1 just to make it very simple open site setting is there 0 0.0254 in default values impact work index of material in the pressure is 12 kilo uh, kilowatt hour per ton and the unit size in meters let it be accepted so now we have provided the system data we have provided the unit model parameters now we are prepared to run the simulation once again look at the uh, flow sheet this is the flow sheet and now let us run the simulation simulation was completed successfully and the data output completed successfully and we see see the feed is at 100 kg per second 100 percent solids and the product stream is also showing 100 uh, kg per second stream and 100 percent solids so and uh, we can now check the stream properties of this display stream properties these are the details of the stream feeding stream and these are the stream properties of the product stream close and uh, the details of uh, the plot size distribution is shown here in this graph this is particle size in millimeters and uh, y axis is percentage passing and uh, size distribution graphs of feed product can be obtained by this now after running the simulation we can do changes to the uh, flow sheet whatever we have drawn very quickly so we have an array of units available in modsim software we can choose any model we want Thank you for watching this presentation on Marcy. Thank you very much.